Okay, so this is a meeting of the Board of Registrars. Um, the first item on our agenda is to discuss and vote on early voting options for annual town elections scheduled for June 13, 2023. So I'm not sure if you're aware, but there's was the Vote Act that was passed last year. And so early voting in person and by mail are mandated for, for state and federal elections. They're also mandating early vote by mail for local elections, for, but they're giving the towns the um, authority to decide to opt out of early vote by mail and opt in to early voting in person, okay? okay? So I'm recommending that we stay consistent with state and federal elections and offer early vote in person we're going to opt in, recommend to opt into that and stay opt in, opting into early vote by mail. Now, I don't foresee this being very costly for the town because if we offer early in person voting, we could offer it during our regular business hours. And by law, early in person voting for a town with our size population, you only need to offer 25% of your regular business hours. Granted, I'm, I kind of feel that like you say we're open eight to four, we could start early in-person voting 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So you have time to set up in the morning and you have time to break down in the afternoon and put your stuff and you put your ballots into the computer. So that would, but I don't, I don't necessarily think we need to cut it down so much to 25% of our regular business hours. I think we can make it accommodating to the town's residents as much as possible. And I also would be interested to see how many more people do vote. If it is something that we could get at word, get word out that we're offering early in-person voting for our local election and see if it increases the numbers. Um, there's also, so that's for early in-person voting that we need to, that we could opt into. Early vote by mail, I don't also foresee being too costly to the town. Um, early vote by mail ballots are the same ballots we use for absentee voting, and we have to have absentee voting. So if anything, I would need to increase the amount of ballots purchased for, for early in-person, for early voting and absentee voting. So that might be a, a little bit of an increase. Um, what I think it might be a little bit misleading to registered voters is you have to, you have to fill out a vote by mail application every year. So just because you did it in 2022 and got your, your state election vote by mail, you have to do it for 2023. And the only way you really do that is by coming to the town offices or doing it online. So right now, um, any new registered voter in town, by law, we, need, we have to send them a 2022 vote by mail application. And that number is pretty low. So um, what I... So we've so far we probably have a little bit more than half a dozen 2022 vote by mail applications, which I don't see being a very big burden on the town offices to get those out to them. Um, so I'm recommending that we opt in to early in person voting and also continue to be opted in to early vote by mail. Any questions? Okay. So we can take a vote. Um, and so the vote would be, I, I'm, I'm just gonna read this letter only because we're not, I'm not doing a um, screen share, which is the letter that's gonna be presented to the select board tomorrow, which is at a board of, of registrar's meeting held on March 27, 2023. It was unanimously recommended that the select board approve in-person early voting for the June 13th, 2023 annual town election as recommended by the town clerk. In-person early voting would take place the week of June 5th through June 8th during regular business hours. We believe this option, this local option is consistent with state election law changes. This along with mail-in voting will, will ensure voters ample opportunity to participate in our local election. This proposal will add no additional election costs as voting will take place, I should say minimal. I, let me um, amend that to this proposal will will add minimal additional election costs as voting will take place at the town at the clerk's office during normal business hours. If you have any questions regarding this re request, please do not hesitate to contact us. This is the letter that I'm asking you to sign tonight that we can present to the board of um, to the select board. Um, I will with 
So the vote would be to vote, um, a motion would be to opt in to early in-person voting and to continue to opt in to vote by mail and to send the letter to the select board with the amendment. So I would need someone to make that motion and then- So just a question. So the only real change is that we're opting into the early vote by person. We're already doing the early mail-in voting, correct? You got it. Okay. I make a motion um, to accept the changes and allow early voting in person. I second that motion and I have one question. How will we be advertising? So what I think we should do is that we have the robocall, which I would say I think gets to a little bit more than 60% of the people. We have our Facebook page. We have the town's website. Um, we do have a bulletin board on um, local, the local channel 15. We can do that. Um, I can put, we can make flyers. We can do flyers at the library, the post office, the transfer station, anything to... I just, I don't think we should necessarily do a mailing. I think that could get costly. Um, but I think we have enough outreach um, with options to be able to hopefully get a little bit more um, applications. Well, I think that's great. Good. You are the FSAC all lined up. Yeah. So, okay. So the motion seconded. Second. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other comments, concerns? So I think we can adjourn. It is 5.07 p.m. Do we have to take a vote? Oh, roll call vote. I'm sorry, there is a roll call vote needed. Josh? Here. Okay. Teresa? Yes. Perfect, thank you.